Dimka was later tried by a military tribunal. And to the surprise of many, Dimka did not deny his involvement in the coup throughout the sitting of the tribunal. When a recorded message in connection with the coup was played to him at the tribunal, Dimka boldly admitted that the voice on the tab was his own. Well, I didn't have enough time, but I thought to this, I mean, initial step was going to allow me to speak. Anyway, I'm, I thank you very much, actually, for having come. If I did, there's anybody who enjoys uh, any... Uh... Of course, being a soldier, I made it a point of duty that I own, I mean, I have an honor to maintain, and I believe uh, I have no reason at this stage uh, life. So all that you have heard uh, has been my recording, personal recording. On 15th May 1976, Dimka was found guilty by the tribunal and was publicly executed by firing squad at the Krikri Maximum Security Prison in Lagos. It is stated that even after being tied to the stake for execution, Dimka requested that the younger officer who was stationed to shoot him should first give him a salute and compliment as a senior military officer. This brought to an end the military career and life of Colonel Buka Suka Dimka, one of the earliest foreign trained military officers in Nigeria. Dimka attended the Australian Officer Cadet School, Potsy, where he trained and was commissioned in 1963 as a second lieutenant for the Nigerian Army. His execution was announced by Motala's successor, Olusegun Obasanjo. The council has confirmed the sentences passed by the tribunal. Those condemned to death by firing squad have been executed today. Motala Mohammed and Dimka were not enemies. Himself and Motala had participated in the counter coup of 1966 that removed General Ironsi and brought in General Yakubu Gawon. He later participated in the coup that brought in Motala to power. It is maintained in some quarters that Motala had promised to create some states for Nigeria and that one of the states he promised to create was to be known as mainland states, which was to be carved out of the present-day Cross River state with headquarters in a back region of present-day Aquaibom states, and that Dimka was to be the military governor of the mainland states. Motala indeed created some states, but did not create mainland states, and did not make Dimka a military governor. It is said that Dimka became angry with Motala Mohammed from that moment, having already prepared to be sworn in as the military governor of one of the new states. Unfortunately, neither Motala nor Dimka is alive to confirm this narrative. But whatever the narrative and whatever the intention may have been, the truth remains that Motala Mohammed was killed in Lagos State, Nigeria by a group of soldiers led by Dimka. General Motala Mohammed was born in Kano State on 8th November 1938. He attended the famous Barewa College and later attended the Royal Military Academy Sandhurst. He was the brain behind the relocation of the Federal Capital Territory of Nigeria from Lagos to Abuja. He was married to a Yoruba woman, Ajoke Mohammed, and the marriage was blessed with six children.